In this video, we're going to see how to set up your TypeScript environment. So, we already have seen an online option for executing your TypeScript code. For many examples, if you run this, it will be enough, but in order to develop full projects, you will need to run a local environment. As you know, TypeScript is an open source technology. It can run on any browser, any host, and any operating system. But for this to happen successfully, we will need the following tools to write and test a TypeScript code. First is the text editor. And here you can use any text editor of your preference, such as Notepad++, Atom, Visual Studio Code, or any other. During this course, I will be using Visual Studio Code to write our TypeScript files. Second is the TypeScript compiler. Compiler will allow you to compile your TS files into JS files. The TSC or TypeScript compiler is a source to source compiler. Being source to source compiler means that the TypeScript compiler generates a JavaScript version of the .ts file passed to it. In other words, compiler produces an equivalent JavaScript source code from the TypeScript file given as an input to it. This process is normally called transpilation. So, in order to install TypeScript compiler, we will use Node.js Package Manager, which will allow us to install it globally. Globally means that it will be accessible from any location within our system. As a first step, we need to get Node.js installed on our machine, so let's do it. First, visit the official Node.js website, https nodejs.org. It will automatically detect operating system and display a download link for you. Download Node MSI for your operating system. In my case, I'm using Windows, so I will download Node MSI for Windows by clicking on LTS button. Please note that the version might change in the future. At the moment of writing this course, the version of the latest stable release is 10.15.3. After you download the executable file, execute it to start the installation process. By default, with Node.js, you will install Node Package Manager which we will use to install TypeScript compiler. So make sure you do not disable this option during the installation process. After finishing the installation, we need to verify that installation went successfully. For this, open console and run two following commands, node v and npm v. As the result, you should see the versions of installed tools as showing on the following picture. Now that we have installed our Node.js and Node Package Manager successfully, let's go and install TypeScript Compiler. Open the command prompt and type the following commands. Please note, I'm using Windows as my operating system, but on other operating systems the commands will be exactly the same, so let's continue. The command is npm install slash g typescript. This means that's we asking our Node Package Manager to grab and install TypeScript package globally. Since we are using online packaging tool, you need to make sure that you are connected to the network while running this command. Once the installation process is finished, you can run the following command to understand if installation was successful, which is tsc slash v. At the same time, it will show you the current version of TypeScript that you have installed on your machine. Visual Studio Code provides integrated support for TypeScript projects, so once you install it, you can start creating your TS files and it will allow you to have syntax highlight, integrated compilation and much more. That's it, now you are ready to write your TypeScript code. So now that we have configured our local environment, let's jump into actual code and run the same example as we did before but now in our local development environment. Let's open first your text editor that you use and create there a new file called helloworld.ts. Inside the file, let's first write our Hello World TypeScript code. Now, let's use TypeScript compiler in order to transpile our TypeScript code into JavaScript. For that, open a console inside the folder where you created helloworld.ts file and run the following command. This will compile your TypeScript program and create the following JavaScript code in the file name helloworld.js at the same location of helloworld.ts. Now let's open newly created helloworld.js file. 
as you can see, the TypeScript compiler compiled the TypeScript code into plain JavaScript. Thus, if you now include hello-world.js into an HTML file and run it in the browser, we should see the same output as we have seen in TypeScript Playground. So let's do that. Let's create a new HTML file called test.html and include some code into it. Now, let's save the file, open this page in the browser and see the results. Okay, here we can see our page. Let's also open the developer tools to see our results. As you can see, the code was executed exactly as we planned it. All the commands have outputted the result that we was expecting for. In the next video, we're going to talk about compilation options and tsconfig.json.